Two million years ago, something extraordinary happened. A species without language, without art, without cities, somehow conquered three continents. They crossed oceans when we thought it was impossible. They survived longer than Neanderthals, longer than modern humans have even existed. Who were they? And how did they blueprint everything it means to be human? Two million years ago, Africa was dying. The ancient forests that had sheltered our ancestors for millions of years were vanishing. In their place, endless grasslands, brutal droughts, predators everywhere, the old ways of survival were finished. Australopithecus, gone. Homo habilis, clinging to the last forest edges, but failing fast. But from this chaos emerged something unprecedented, something built not for hiding, but for conquering. Meet Homo erectus, the first true wanderers, the first global humans. Look at these footprints, 1.5 million years old, and they tell an incredible story. Perfect arches, aligned big toes, these aren't climbing feet. These are running machines. Six feet tall, lean muscle, legs built like springs. They weren't just walking out of Africa. They were running for hours until their prey collapsed from exhaustion. They were the first ultra-marathon runners. But here's the genius part. While they ran, they stayed cool. Sweat glands like modern humans, narrow bodies that shed heat like radiators. Their faces still carried echoes of something ancient. Heavy brows, no chin. But inside that skull, something revolutionary was happening. Brains growing larger, planning ahead, imagining tomorrow. For the first time in Earth's history, a creature was learning to think beyond survival. They were learning to dream. 1.7 million years ago in the dust of East Africa, Everything changed. Before Homo erectus, tools were accidents, random flakes. Use once, throw away. But this, this required imagination. The ability to see a finished tool hidden inside raw stone. This was planning, this was art. One tool, unlimited possibilities. It was the Swiss army knife of the Stone Age. But their greatest conquest wasn't stone, it was fire. One million years ago, deep in Wonderwerk Cave, something miraculous happened. They didn't just find fire, they tamed it, they kept it alive. Fire changed everything. Meat became easier to digest, roots became edible, predators kept their distance. And around that fire, for the first time, knowledge could pass between generations. Culture could begin. And then they did something that changed the world forever. They left. 185 million years ago, Dimanisi, Georgia, the first human footsteps outside Africa. They followed herds across continents. They crossed rivers that seemed impossible. They climbed mountains that touched the sky. Within 300,000 years, they had reached China, Indonesia, Java. They had conquered a third of the planet. But here's where the story becomes impossible. Java was always an island. Even during ice ages, deep ocean channels kept it isolated. No land bridge, no easy crossing. And yet they made it, on rafts of driftwood and vine, sailing into the unknown without maps, without knowing if they'd ever return. They crossed 19 kilometers of open ocean, in numbers large enough to start new populations. This wasn't accident. The deeper we dig, the more incredible their reach becomes. China, 2.1 million years ago. India, 1.7 million. Even England, 800,000 years ago. 
This wasn't one heroic journey. This was waves of exploration, generation after generation, driven by something we still carry today. Curiosity, the need to see what's beyond the next hill. They were the first humans to chase horizons they couldn't see beyond. For nearly two million years, they endured everything Earth could throw at them, Volcanic winters that blocked the sun for years, ice ages that locked continents in ice, droughts that turned rainforests into deserts. While other species went extinct, Homo erectus adapted, not by changing who they were, but by being flexible enough to survive anywhere. They ate everything, meat when available, plants when necessary. They were the ultimate generalists. Their fossils stretch across more territory than any human species before modern times, Africa to Asia to Europe. And their tools? Virtually unchanged for over a million years. When something works perfectly, why fix it? They survived longer than any human species in history, longer than we, modern humans, have even existed. But even the greatest survivors face limits. 800,000 years ago, Earth's climate became increasingly chaotic, habitats fragmented, populations became isolated, and newer humans were emerging, Homo heidelbergensis, Neanderthals, eventually Homo sapiens, with bigger brains, better tools, faster innovation. Slowly, Homo erectus retreated to their final refugees, isolated islands, cut off from the mainland. On Java, the last populations clung to life until just 108,000 years ago, the end of an era that had lasted nearly two million years. No dramatic extinction, no final battle. They simply faded as the world changed faster than even they could adapt. But Homo erectus didn't disappear. They evolved. When you run long distances, you're using a body plan they perfected. When you sweat to stay cool, you're using their innovation. When you plan for tomorrow, you're using mental architecture they first developed. Every tool you use traces back to those first Aculean hand axes. Every fire you light echoes theirs. Every journey into the unknown follows paths they first carved across continents. Every story shared around a fire continues traditions they began a million years ago. Through Homo heidelbergensis, through Neanderthals, through countless generations, their legacy flows directly into us. Homo erectus didn't build cathedrals or paint cave walls. They built something more fundamental. They built the blueprint for being human for enduring, for exploring, for never giving up. When we look at what makes us human, our bodies, our minds, our restless spirit, we're not looking forward into the future. We're looking backward into a lineage that stretches two million years deep. The same curiosity that drives us to explore space, to push beyond every boundary, first stirred in them as they gazed at horizons they couldn't see beyond. Homo erectus, the first human conquerors, the blueprint makers, the eternal wanderers whose journey never ended. Because their story isn't history, it's still being written in every step we take toward the unknown. If this journey through deep time sparked your curiosity, don't let it end here. Subscribe for more stories from the roots of who we are. Because understanding our past isn't just about history, it's about understanding ourselves.